Hi, I'm Heather from A More Crafty Life. And today I'm going to show you an easy variation of the double crochet, the herringbone double crochet. For this stitch, you can crochet any number you want. So I'm gonna crochet, I'm gonna chain um, 15. I'm using an H um, five millimeter hook, um, cotton worsted weight yarn. And uh, this is Lion Brands 24 seven. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is chain 15. This stitch has a great texture. Um, it's double sided. And um, is easy to do. It doesn't use a lot of um, extra yarn and it doesn't require um, really any counting. So it's great for um, relaxing and watching a show. Um, it's good. I've made blankets, scarves, ear warmers, um, dishcloths out of it. So, okay, so here we have our chain of 15. And in the third stitch from the hook, you're going to yarn over and then insert your hook. So one, two, three, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, pull through the second, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, and pull through the two loops. And that gives you your herringbone double crochet stitch. So let's see that again. Yarn over, Insert hook, yarn over, pull through one, pull through the second, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, and pull through the last two. And then repeat. Yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through one, pull through the second, Pull through, yarn over and pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through the, the last two. Yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through one, pull through two, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. We'll just continue this down the chain. And at first, this stitch feels a little awkward if you've been doing the double crochet stitch, but, um, after you've done it for a couple rows, um, it, it's real easy to remember. Okay, and as you come close to the end, you um, don't do anything different. You just finish the last stitch with um, a herringbone double crochet. So here's my last stitch. And just do the same thing. When you get to the end of the row, um, this is what it looks. You can see that it has the slight slant to the right. Um, it's kind of close together. And it looks the same on both sides. Okay, we're gonna chain two and turn. So one, two. Then you're gonna turn your work 
Um, I count the chain as the first stitch, so I'm going to skip this one, but um, make sure you read your pattern. Um, sometimes um, they don't, and you'll put your first stitch here. So you do the same thing um, before, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull up, one, two, yarn over through one loop, and pull through the last two. And then you're going to continue down the row. And when you get to the last stitch, do one more um, herringbone, double crochet, and then you would chain two for the next row, and then you just keep repeating. And this is what it looks like when you have two rows. One goes this way, and then one slants back that way. Um, I have, um, like I said, several patterns. I have um, a dishcloth, an infinity scarf, um, a chunky um, throw blanket, and an ombre blanket that um, is paired with the easy um, berry stitch. Um, that's free on my blog. There's a free PDFs. There's also a photo tutorial and the written directions for this stitch. And you can find them on my blog, A More Crafty Life. Thank you for watching.